Hello everybody and welcome to Cyberspace. This is a very, very strange game from a company that I can only tell that it is called Rift Away, from what I can tell. They've got a few games on their list, but sadly only two of them work with the DK2, so I'm taking a look at those guys. This game was suggested by uh, Wolffield, one of my viewers on, a pa on my past videos. Um, and it's a goofy little game. Uh, when you first start out, you're in a ride with a couple of very dead-looking people. Yeah, they don't move. It's kind of disappointing. Um, but that guy's at least very animated. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting very distracted by the insane dancing guy. Um, but yeah, so uh, there are three buttons. Uh, it's enter, shift, and space. Space starts the ride. Uh, fair warning, if you get motion sick and you're watching this with the Oculus, um, don't. <laughs> Seriously, um, I get very, very motion sick watching this. But, uh, here we go. Ooh, I'm already sick. I've been doing this for a couple of seconds already and I'm already sick. Holy crap. Ooh, but basically as you can see, oh. <laughs> Just moving my head around makes me nauseous. Uh, as you can see, we are in what looks like a city rendered using Google Earth and that 3D Street View thing, or the 3D Google Earth thing where it has the buildings and stuff. I have no idea what city we're in, but we're riding a big, giant, spinny thing of death that's really, really freaking high up. I don't know what the purpose of this game is outside of this. Yeah, um... Well, as we can see, I have a distance rating and a height rating. Um, not my best score. As I said, I don't know where we are, but we appear to be somewhere in Europe since that was a police siren. At least I'm fairly sure that was a police siren. Um, there we go. Okay. If you hit enter, it recenters the camera. Like, I'm pointing the wrong way right now. Now I'm pointing the right way. All right. So, that's pretty much it for the game as far as I can tell there's nothing else um it's just nausea inducing and a whack job dancing in front of a whoa a ride that should probably kill him Whee! but yes as I'm moving around just looking at the ground oh that it makes me sick it feels like I should be moving, but I'm not. But that's that's the point. That's motion sickness, in a nutshell, right there. Ooh, what it is is your eyes giving you different information than your ears, your inner ear, your balance center. So, I mean, that's how it works in a car. You're in the car. Your ears are telling you that you're moving because, well, you are. But your eyes will be looking at the dash or the frame of the car. And your eyes are telling you that you're not moving. Ooh, I have no idea how people actually ride these things in real life. Oh, I'd be vomiting already if this was real. I'll tell you that much. I don't do well with rides like this. Um, and off we go. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Hang on. I'll go for the next roundabout. Whee! Ow. And I splattered across the la uh, land. <laughs> Definitely an interesting game. <laughs> One more go. One more go with the dancing lunatic. Come on, cut his head off. Cut his head off. 
I don't know if I'm supposed to aim for like that spot right there or that's just for decoration. I'm not 100% sure. Um, or if I'm just supposed to go for distance. And if somebody can tell me what city this is, I would guess it's in somewhere in Europe, but I've never seen a city like this before. Like I said, it looks like something from Google Earth. Um, which is kind of a common thing for a lot of games recently is that they will use Google Earth because, hey, all the information is already there. Nobody, You don't have to go hunting for it, you don't have to manually create it, it's just right there, so why not? Whee! And here we go! <laughs> it's still going in the background, everybody's screaming. I didn't, still didn't make it that far. But yeah, that's, as far as I can tell, the extent of the game. So, let's move on to the next one. And we're back in the other game from Whiff, Rift Away that I'm playing today. And it is called Chilling Space. And it's because it's in space and you're supposed to be chilling. You know? It's not like a horror game or anything like that, chilling or anything like that. It's chilling. So it's the one with just I-N apostrophe, not I-N-G, that kind of thing. And you got this weirdness going on in the background. I don't know, is that supposed to be like Carl Sagan or something like that? I haven't figured that out yet. But it sounds like one of those things you get on a speech um, by those, you know, really, really freaking intelligent people. Basically saying that we are a tiny little blue dot in the universe and we're so uptight and full of ourselves. Which sounds about right. Um... So this is pretty much what you do. You look around, you fly around, and that's about it. But you can also do this. If I can ever find my mouse. There it is. Look, I got a gun. And I can shoot things. I can shoot asteroids and make them fly away. And apparently I can break my arm. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it for the game. And I lost my arm. It's gone. I have no idea anymore. But, uh, I mean, this is pretty much it. Um, I like floating around this. It is pretty chill. Um, it looks pretty. And it's got physics, too. Like, if I head towards one of these rocks, I will bounce off of it. Um, I can't shoot it anyways, because I don't know where my mouse is. That's the problem with these kind of games. They don't bind your mouse. Bouncy. Okay, that was weird. But yeah, now I'm heading, like, the wrong way and stuff. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but I bounced off a rock. Um, oh, I am cruising. Hello. Ow. My head. <laughs> Is that supposed to be a star? Little tiny itty bitty micro star? That must just be a uh, little tiny particle of dust or something. I don't know. I thought it was just a cheaty way to do stars, but no, no, no. I don't know. But yeah, I figured this game would be nice, you know, just to relax after the last game, after being totally nauseous from it. And, you know, I actually had to take a break from the last one for about a half an hour because I was really sick. I got nauseous. Um, oh! Okay. I'm trying to figure out what country I'm floating over. That's Italy. That's gotta be Italy. So that means uh, I need to be tilted this way. And apparently that's Europe. Okay. So we're kind of floating at a weird angle. We're going almost north to south here. 
observe and cherish the pain gut. So that over there must be Antarctica. Alrighty. I don't know where all these rocks came from floating around the Earth, but sure, whatever. Maybe this is what people predict that's going to happen after NASA starts grabbing asteroids and stuff. Um... Because, yeah, apparently that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to grab asteroids and pull them into Earth's orbit. So for, like, space mining and stuff, which is actually a really cool concept. Um, as long as, you know, they don't grab a giant thing, mis-aim it, and actually hit something. <laughs> that would, that would kind of suck. But, yeah, I mean, this is pretty much it. Um, like I said, there are other games... On there there's actually one that's actually a game um, and basically it's a cart riding thing and it's kind of like uh, oh, what's that game called temple run it's kind of like temple run but in a cart uh, but it's only for the DK one and I don't have the D well I do have the DK one I don't have it plugged in and I don't intend on plugging it back in it's all tucked away nice and pretty in its display box and it's going to stay there um, I'll just wait till they update it for the DK2. So, this is going to be a relatively quick episode. And by relatively quick, I mean we're probably into, what, 12, 15 minutes here? Whatever. I don't know. So, I'm going to end it here, but I am going to say this. If anybody out there knows of a good DK2 compatible Oculus game that you want me to try out, let me know. I will try it. Um, I mean, we've already played with Euro Truck Simulator. That made me a little bit nauseous. We played with Proton Pulse, which didn't, and I thought was really, really good game. Then Valkyrie V, which I figured out Valkyrie V is actually Valkyrie Vanguard. At least that's what I'm seeing. Uh, so it is Valkyrie V, not Valkyrie 5. Uh, then we played with Cyberspace, and then we played with Chillin' Space. Um, and out of all of those, well, Valkyrie V is badass, straight up. Um, Proton Pulse is really, really good. Um, Cyberspace, well, that's a very quick way to make you, make you nauseous, and that's because you're riding a ride that tends to make people nauseous, so that kind of fits. It's realistic! Um, then there's Chillin' Space, which has this chillin' music in the background. It basically generally gives the idea that, hey, we're all in this together, and we should probably start acting like it, which I could agree with. Um, and then there's Euro Truck Simulator, which makes me sick. Oh, I did want to point this out. Okay, that banding that's at the top and the bottom of the screen, the Keller banding, um, you could probably see it if I look around in certain areas. Um, but where it's showing, like, the rainbow of colors. I can't see it at all when I use the Oculus, but I can see it when I'm looking at it on a regular monitor. So I am fairly sure I'm right in this theory that it's because of the lenses. Light refract, no, refracts, refracts differently dependent on its wavelength so that's why like uh, if you look at the pink floyd dark side of the moon cover or basically the prism thing in science class uh it takes a white light into the prism and then a rainbow out of it that's what's going on and that is why you get the banding in the game it's to adjust for the lenses which caught which reflect refract the light back into its uh real color what color it's supposed to be and into your eyes cool concept i really like the idea um i wonder if that's in the dev kit i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm gonna end the episode here on that enlightening note and i'm gonna say there's a hurricane at least that sure as hell looks like a hurricane. I can't say for sure. This where? We're over the South Pole, I think. I'm not 100 percent sure where I am anymore. I'm not that good at geography. So I will end the episode here, and I will say to you guys as always, 
keep playing the game, and have fun.